Hi, we're the Steve Sisters. I'm Sunday and I'm Swafnik. And we love exploring science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Hey, what do you got over here? Oh, well, I'm just collecting some data on our science experiment about these plants here. A plantastic idea. <gasps> but what is data? Oh, well, that's a really good question. Data are a collection of information. Everything from measurements to observations to descriptions. And it could be words, numbers, or both. Exactly, and data can tell us so much more. It can be analyzed using statistics, which is a field that uses data to help find trends and patterns to tell us more about the bigger picture. That's right. For example, you could record the temperature every day for a month and see if it changed or stayed stable over that period of time. And what is big data speaking of the bigger picture? Well, it can be described using the three V's, and that is volume, variety, and velocity. And that's because there's a lot of data of a lot of different types that can be generated really, really quickly. And in order to understand and use data of any size, it's important for us to talk more about statistics. In statistics, we use the patterns and connections that we see and find by analyzing data to understand more about the world around us. For example, answering questions like, what's the most popular music among youth today? Or do sports teams really win more often when they play at home? Well, there's also a misconception in statistics, and that's that correlation means causation. But really, there is an important difference. Correlation is when there's a relationship between two things or events. We can see the connection between them, like when the sun rises and we feel warmer. And causation is when one of those things or events causes another to happen. For example, we feel warmer because the sun has risen. But correlation does not always mean causation. When we see correlation, we have to be careful before concluding causation. Consider this example. Data shows us that there is a relationship between eating ice cream and being eaten by a shark. Does that mean that eating ice cream causes us to be more likely to be eaten by a shark? Nope. There is no causation between those two things. That's right, neither one causes the other. What's actually happening is that when the weather is warmer, more ice cream is eaten, and more people are attacked by sharks because more people are swimming in the ocean where the sharks are. Exactly, well, I think that this is an ice day to have a treat. Fantastic idea. Hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you check out the Shasbury Kids YouTube channel for tons of videos and full episodes of TV shows, all streaming for free.